The long-awaited Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 Android tablet has finally been released. Xiaomi continues to lead the charge. It's the newly released Xiaomi Pad 6s Pro. Many brothers are particularly interested in its gaming performance. In this issue, I will take everyone to fully understand this tablet from a gamer's perspective. Firstly, in terms of appearance, there isn't much change. It still maintains an all-metal unibody design, just that the camera module has been adjusted to the same shape as the Xiaomi 14. This time, they finally eliminated the plastic stand. Now the build quality can totally match the iPad Pro. Compared to the previous generation, the most intuitive change is that it's gotten bigger because the screen was upgraded from 11 inches to 12.4 inches and has achieved a 3K screen resolution. So if you're using this tablet for work or watching dramas, it couldn't be more suitable. The screen ratio has also been adjusted to 3.2, so from the appearance, it no longer looks like an enlarged phone. Regarding its gaming performance, and as an example, the most played game piece, the game does not display the full retreat in game. First and third person definitely aren't as comfortable as on the 4.3 ratio iPad Pro but it's definitely much better than a phone. It's just that the game graphics aren't very clear. Close combat is no problem. A bit further and it gets slightly blurry. I recommend everyone to turn on the anti-aliasing option. It will be much better. However, if we're talking about the biggest highlight of the tablet, it's definitely the Snapdragon 8A2 and the 10,000 men are big battery. With a 120W fast charge, this combination can be said to be top notch among current Android tablets. So how does it perform? Let's look at the gaming test. Coming to the game, you can see there is currently no support for high definition 90 hertz. Only the smooth 90 hertz option is available, but assuming 100% volume, we'll use the smooth 90 hertz for everyone's test. As usual, we continue with the crowded long U great wall sniper landing with about 30 people jumping on average. The experience is as I expected. The tablet performance isn't stunning, roughly the same as a phone with Snapdragon 8K2. You can see, apart from the initial parachute jump where the frame rate might drop to around 70 FPS, in other cases it remains stable above 80 FPS. The tablet experiences frequent frame rate fluctuations during fights, oscillating around 85 FPS. Although the tablet can't consistently maintain 90 FPS throughout, but still, as I always say, as long as it doesn't often drop to around 70 FPS, it basically has no impact on operation. Regarding its screen touch issue, I am a Turkish player, the screen response is completely adaptable. As long as it's not particularly unresponsive, with a little adjustment it's operable. Additionally, you need to be aware, the tablet is really large. If there's no stand, you can't play for long. It's particularly tiring for the hands. Moving on to battery life, even though it has a 1000 mAh large battery, but when you convert it, the battery life is the same as a phone's. Overall, the core use of this tablet is for everyday tasks, and it fits into Xiaomi's comprehensive ecosystem. Of course, if you use it for gaming, Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 can also meet the need. Okay, after playing for an hour, the battery is at 74%, a 26% decrease, ambient temperature is around 12 degrees, the highest temperature on the front of the tablet is around 29 degrees, the back is also around 29 degrees. What do you think about this performance?